Hello and welcome for this lab solution, learning basic commands. Let me quickly go ahead in uh, solving the exercise. Okay. So here is the questions, basically lab questions. I expect this needs to be solved within one and a half hour. Uh, please practice a couple of times. So as uh, this question arises, I'll be solving this question here. Okay. So the first one. The scenario a bunch of files have accumulated in your home directory and you have decided that it's time to organize things you plan to create several new subdirectories and copy move files around to fit your new scheme additionally you have several files that are not needed at all which must be deleted the task so log in to the terminal at the user student with password student which has been done immediately after logging to the system you should be able to be in your home directory verify this using pwd command which you have done okay check to see whether you have any files in your home directory with the following commands with ls ls space hyphen al ls space hyphen al so i will uh, move ahead in uh, uh, basically running this third line which is there if you see if you want to see pwd you're already into your home directory slash home student now the third one ls is the shortcut of all the files which are there okay ls hyphen a list more files you can see the dot files also coming across okay apart from your files and folders which are there in the current directory ls hyphen al you can see here more number of files in a long form you can scroll up and scroll down which i'm doing right so the question is why do the first and second command return with different number of files because we see dot files what is the size of the largest file in your home directory file largest one you can see here this is of 312 bytes file only check with the files not for directories which are there so this is 312 and this is 310 so dot dash rc is the largest file okay so this is about the third question do you have any subdirectories in your home directory yes there are number of subdirectories which are there there are number of directories or subdirectories which are there in your d means directories okay so now let me read the fourth question. You will now use touch to create the files needed for your experience. The details of how expansion of words or following command works will be covered in a later. For now, simply type the exactly as you see. Verify with your. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I touch flower bracket a report comma memo comma graph exactly don't press enter until unless you are confirmed and sure otherwise the whole exercise won't work sorry september october november december okay a comma b comma c and one two three See, I'll tell you, not, not this particular one, flower bracket, 3 into 3, 9, so 9 into 4, 36, 36 into 3, 108. So there will be a total of 108 files which will be generated with various combinations. If you are familiar with all these basic commands, you can skip this lab, okay? So now, now, once after this, you can see that, you can see, that there are about 108 files which are created, which are generated, 108 files which are generated. I'll show you. LS hyphen L or LL. You can see there are number of files which are generated. Number of all these are zero byte files. Okay. The intention of these files is now we have we will learn about the directories, files, file management, directory management commands. Okay. So fifth one is over. Now sixth one. In order to organize, you must first create some new files and new directories. Okay, so we will be creating directories. We are into sixth one. Mkdr a underscore reports under your home directory. Mkdr September, October, November, and December. No need to have capitals over there as given in the notes. Okay. Just say September, October, November, and December. Enough. So now we have four plus one, five directories which have been created along with 108 files. Okay. So now CD, I'm changing the directory to A underscore reports. 
okay autofill is also there here 7b make directory 1 comma 2 comma 3 you can create multiple directories at the same time so you can verify by using LRE. yes you can see so now let me go ahead with quickly with the uh, question number eight so now here in this question is asking about basically the b reports needs to be uh, moved to a directory called as uh, december so how to do this eight okay go to cd cd means you will be going to home directory and now ll you can ask with asterisk and basically question mark are two wild cards asterisk for all question mark is for single character b question mark if you say this all december files with b will be listed across this is only a verification now i'll give move command okay move with the same same syntax instead of ll i'm giving move mv do you see question mark b question mark so to which folder december okay if you give slash or not also it's okay so now the files has been moved to december folder i can verify by using ll it has moved okay all the files of december has been moved so now what i can do i have done list and now similarly the ninth question move all the other file november october september to respective folders so i'll do this particular one move asterisk nov question mark b question mark november move asterisk oct october files to october folder move asterisk september question mark b question mark to september folder okay ninth question is also done you can verify by giving some september folder yes the files has been so now i'm moving ahead with 10. you will see now you will collect a underscore reports into a respective corresponding number of directories notice that tilde so here you can see you can learn about cd underscore a reports i'm going to a underscore reports okay move from the home directory slash all underscore a one to the subdirectory of one folder okay so if you say ll one folder you can see all the a1 files all a1 files okay so now see 10c the september a1 files are old and no longer needed use echo basically he here he wants to make you learn about the rm command so what i need to do now cd1 in this one directory echo asterisk set will display basically the status one two three files are there rm asterisk set this is only a verification echo so now you see there are no september files there are no september only october november and december is this clear about 10 now 11 so now here we will learn about nv move command so presently we are into this particular directory i mean home folder underscore slash a underscore report slash one okay so here i'll say about echo home student i'm giving the full path absolute path asterisk a2 i want to list out all a2 files which are there there are a number of files which are there the path one two three files have been listed out now i'm using this move home student asterisk a2 the files which has been listed asterisk slash home student a underscore reports on two subdirectory yes yes it has been moved okay now c part c ever since your current directory slash you can move files from so and so i mean location home student to to because you have specified here we are going to do some more uh, move okay okay so first let me show you this echo dot dot slash dot dot slash parent parent asterisk a3 asterisk which will list okay there are some few files which are there so move dot dot slash dot dot slash so earlier we did with slash home student now we are doing with dot dot slash asterisk a3 okay asterisk a3 asterisk 
Oke, okay. dot slash 3. Oke. Okay. So I'm moving all the three files to three support. This completes 11. And now I'm into 12. Return to your home directory and C and use to verify ls to verify that only files remaining are C files. So if I say CD and verify, you see only C files are there, whether it is C1, C2, C3, C1, C2, C3, October, November, December. You. So now I'm going to create a directory not in my home folder slash TMP ARCHIBP. Okay. I have created cp a report asterisk all the report files which is having one and two close the bracket square bracket into temp archive you can list the files also temp archive whether these files have been really copied yes one and two files has been copied of c okay so additionally you want to copy this report files to temp archive so cp hyphen i small i interactive i for interactive the report underscore december asterisk slash tmp archive okay so i stands for interactive it will ask yes or no it's asking yes or no if you want to say yes yes it will overwrite it will no means it will not do anything no no something like this is this clear about this i mean question number 13 now we are into 14 so here now you have backed up C files. Now we want to do which you do not want to execute RMC asterisk. So this is something which is a little bit destructive. Okay. Try ls asterisk C. Hint. ls asterisk C asterisk. So here you see various files are there in various folders. Okay. Now I'll say first before executing the command, I'll say echo C1-3. All these files. So now, what I'm going to do, rm. I want to remove all these files. rm asterisk c remove. This is a very dangerous command. No way in line in Linux where you can retrieve back the files once you delete all the files. Okay. So now you can see the files which has been created are very much organized and it has been placed in under square reports, December, September, October, all these directories. So you can see here and some of the files are even organized at a temp archive. Okay, this ends this exercise. Thank you.